Hi and welcome to The Winning Factor. I'm Alan Aitken and on this show each week we take a look at some upcoming races in Hong Kong and we try to look at an aspect of the race we might look back on later as having been a part to finding the winner. Well, Sunday racing, group racing in fact, with the ladies' purse at Sha Tin on Sunday. I'm going to have a look at a couple of the support races. First of all, race three and our winning factor here, the map. Now there look to be a handful of uh, chances here. I'm sure there'll be cases made for the likes of a Golden Link, despite his wide gate, to Halaku Knight, a last start second, a Rhapsody from the size yard, and uh, the likely leader, One Happy Star. But I'm concentrating most on the two horses who finished with nothing between them last start in a race, Jade Phoenix, Joe Marrera's ride, and My Sugar for Zach Purton. And I think this was a classic case of the best horse not winning. And I'm gonna make the case that the same thing could occur on Sunday. So let's take a look at their meeting in race 76. And you'll see them here, uh, uh, Diamond Pegasus goes to the front. But we see Jade Phoenix in those green and white chevrons, white cap. Uh, he presses forward early. My Sugar in the grey colours. Uh, he's a little bit slow away, gets back in the field. And that's going to be crucial when we take more of a look at the race a little bit later. But uh, you'll see here, uh, Diamond Pegasus controls the speed, uh, is able to kick on under a light weight. And Jade Phoenix certainly had every chance. He's brought at the right time. Uh, tries to run the leader down and late in the piece we see My Sugar charging home, unleashing a big sprint and there's nothing between the three of them across the line. Now I think the sectional times there uh, certainly made Diamond Pegasus look a lot tougher to get past than maybe he is in reality, uh, but sectional times can do that. And I think the best performance in the race was certainly My Sugar in third. And we'll take a look at the individual sectionals run there uh, by uh, the second horse, Jade Phoenix, and My Sugar running third. And as you can see, the difference between them, uh, Jade Phoenix running his first 400 metres a couple of lengths faster uh, to get field position, and My Sugar slower early, but finishing with a big run, almost five lengths faster than average. And actually his was the third best finish of the entire day at that meeting. Now in my view, the performance of My Sugar, definitely uh, the better performance of the pair. But what happened there, I think could well happen again on Sunday. And we're gonna take a look at the map now, the crucial element of this race. And uh, we look again to have an uncompetitive sort of lead, both uh, Jade Phoenix and My Sugar move out exactly four barriers from that last meeting, which won't be a problem for Jade Phoenix, as Marrera will likely uh, jump well and attach himself to one happy star who will bring him across the field and uh, up to a forward position. But it does look a little issue for My Sugar as he tries to slot in behind. Basically, Zach Purton's job here is to be within two lengths of Jade Phoenix when the sprint goes on and he'll beat him but I'm not that confident that he can be that close. So the tip in race three, Jade Phoenix, his winning factor, the map. I've no doubt that of these two horses, Jade Phoenix and My Sugar, My Sugar is gonna turn out the better animal, but the race is not always to the swift, sometimes it's to the map, and I think that could give Jade Phoenix the edge on this occasion. The second race I want to take a look at this Sunday is race seven, and our winning factor here, the stable change. And this is a pretty solid looking class two with a number of horses, I think, who will have aspirations in slightly better class races than this as the season progresses. One of those is Gold Chest, who's already dipped his toe in the group racing uh, water. Uh, Jerry Chow gets on board him. Hong Kong win for Joe Marrera. Uh, winning methods should appreciate a drop back to a thousand metres. We see Duke Y returning uh, for the season. Happy fun. He's had a stable change since he last run. So has Stronger, now with Douglas White. And Larson has only had one run for his new trainer, Frankie Law. So we have three horses coming into this either with a new trainer or having just had the one run for a new trainer. And I thought uh, this is one of my uh, favourite uh, factors here in Hong Kong racing. So I thought we'd check in on how the stable change horses have been performing. Now, uh, on the left here, uh, you'll see the record over the last five years since September 2015. And on the right, 
just for the new season. And obviously, David Hayes winning a double on day one helps the stats since all his horses at the start of the season were stable changes. Uh, but the strike rate is good and the stable change wins have actually been spread around a few different yards, including Stronger's trainer Douglas White, who has won with another former John Moore inmate, Tasha Delic. And both Stronger and Larson come from uh, last season with John Moore when they were three-year-olds who showed a bit of promise and probably horses with a bit of ambition going forward as more mature uh, four-year-olds this season. And although I normally prefer to concentrate on videos from the very recent past, I thought we'd take a look back at last season and see these two at their best. And we're going back to May, and this is uh, race number 637. And Larson, you'll see here, he's in class three with 132 pounds. He's in the pink colours from the outside gate. And you see he has uh, good speed here early. He works across from the outside, leads and controls the race. A terrific ride from Chad Schofield. And then he shot away in the home straight. And while he didn't beat any uh, superstars here, the times were good. And as you see, Schofield really gave him a very easy time going down to the line. So Larson has yet to show us uh, that form in limited exposure at Chartin. But uh, for a three-year-old, that was certainly the win of a horse going places. And I thought this was the performance of a three-year-old going places as well. Three days later, down the straight at Chartin in class two, stronger. And uh, you'll see him, uh, he's in the yellow and black colours. He jumps from barrier two here. And uh, he has to work across uh, from the inside. While you see the uh, ultimate winner of the race, Hong Kong Win, who is in this race on Sunday, he's in uh, pink colours with white sleeves and he drops immediately behind the leaders here into a perfect trail while Stronger's doing a bit of work uh, through that mid-race section which is uh, quite fast uh, to get himself over in striking range. Both horses brave, Hong Kong uh, Win was just a little bit braver down to the line and got the result but uh, certainly a run of merit from Stronger. So if we're looking at uh, Hong Kong win as any sort of a chance on Sunday, uh, we certainly have to look at Stronger because he's got a few things swinging his way to turn that result around. Uh, first of all, there is a weight change between the two that is significant, but also there's a barrier change between them that is significant. Uh, from that race there, uh, he goes from gate two to gate seven stronger, while Hong Kong win goes from barrier 10 into barrier one, and that is not ideal for him. With multi-million, again drawn low, it looks a race with plenty of speed as he tries to make his way across the field. And I think we'll see Larson part of the lead too, while Stronger takes a camp just behind them. So the tip in race seven, Stronger. His winning factor, the stable change. As we saw, stable changes have continued to be a strong pointer in Hong Kong racing. Douglas White, in the limited time he's been training, has shown he's very expert at getting horses to produce their best at their first run for him. And I think that gives Stronger a great chance to put his cards on the table as maybe eligible for better than class two races in this event on Sunday. Well, that's it from the winning factor for this week. Good luck on Sunday. We'll see you next time.